Hi everybody. God loves his creation and so should we. All too often we don't take time to step back from the world to appreciate God's creation, to thank him for it, to praise him as our creator. When we do, it gives us a whole new perspective. It takes away darkness, futility, and foolishness from our minds. It helps us to see the world through different eyes. His. That means we need to praise God for other people. But that's not always our first thought, is it? It's so much easier to praise God for his sunset, his ocean beaches, his trees and flowers. But his people waking up every day and thanking him for other people. They may not be our first thought, but they are his. All that God created is beyond our full comprehension. But this is especially true when it comes to people. Every person in the world is entirely unique down to their fingerprints and DNA. And we need to respond to God's greatness as our Creator by praising Him for all those whom He has created. This is not worshipping the creature rather than the Creator. Romans 1 verse 24 to 25 This is worshipping the Creator and appreciating his creatures. When we praise God for other people, it helps us to gain his heart for them. He loves them, all of them. We definitely do, don't do that in the natural. Our love for other people has to be ignited in the spirit. God has to impart that ability to us and he does it when we praise him for the people he has created think of that the next time you were at in an amusing amusement park standing in line for an hour and a thousand other people trying to get your children on a ride or when you are at a sporting event concert or meeting and it's wall-to-wall -wall bodies and some of them don't smell as fragrant as others. Or you were at the grocery store just before a snowstorm. Or after an earthquake and all the batteries, bottles of water, bread and milk are gone. Think of it when you are hopelessly stuck in traffic that shows no sign of moving because of the number of cars and trucks in front of you. These are the times to especially thank God for all the people he created and that they each have a unique calling and purpose that is important to him. We also need to appreciate everything else in God's creation. We can sometimes become so wrapped up in praising man's creations that we ignore God's completely. If there were no other reason for our praise, the fact that God is the creator of all would be enough. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Psalm 19, 1. All of God's creation is an expression of his love for us. Every time I look at an ocean set, sunset with explosive shades of red, pink, yellow, lavender, and orange dancing in lavish combinations on the water as far as the eyes can see. I feel God's love and find that praising Him comes automatically, but God wants us to see the beauty of His creation at all times and in all places, no matter where we look, even in the depravity of the world around us. His creation can still be seen and appreciated. His love can still be found there. When you are going through a difficult time, 
Don't let yourself become so overwhelmed by your concerns and blinded by your situation that you can't see anything else but that. Praise God as your Creator and thank Him for His creation. It's important to our well-being to acknowledge that everything under heaven is God's and to praise Him for it. Then, at last, they will think of God their Creator and have respect for Him. Isaiah 17, 7, and that's the TLB version. When we don't think of God as our Creator and don't give Him the proper respect, there are ramifications for that. For this is a people without understanding, so their Maker has no compassion on them, and their Creator shows them no favor. Isaiah 27, verse 11, NIV this is serious. It's not a good idea to lose God's compassion and favor. God loves his creation. We surely, he surely doesn't love all that has happened to it, but he moves and he knows the way he created it to be. He sees its potential. He knows its purpose. He wants you to see that too. The same is true for you. You are His creation and He loves you. He may not love all that has happened to you, of all that you have done, but He loves you and He knows the way He created you to be. He sees your potential and He knows your purpose and what He can create in your life now is without limits. The hidden power of praising God as your Creator releases Him to create new life in you. Worship is celebrating Him as our Creator and thanking Him for all that He has created. I give God my praise. Lord, I worship you as the Creator of heaven and earth. All things you have made were by you and everything you created is good. I praise you for all of your beautiful creation. You place the earth on its foundation so that it can never be moved. Your right hand stretched out the heavens. Thank you that you have blessed us with light and dark, sun and rain, food and water, land and sea, trees and flowers, days and seasons, the heavens are yours. The earth also is yours. The world and all its fullness, you have founded them. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him, you made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You made him ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet. I know that both men and women come from God, their creator. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. O oh Lord, thank you that you created me and gave me life. You formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. I praise you for every breath I take, and thank you that I was created for good things. Help me to be renewed in the image of you, my Creator. I know you made me to be so much more than I am now, and that you will help me become all you created me to be. I praise you for the people you have created, each one unique and valuable and carrying in their spiritual DNA a purpose that is distinctive and priceless as well. I am grateful for the potential for good that you have placed within each one. Help me to value others 
as your creation and send them the way and see them the way you do. Thank you, Jesus, that you are the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. You are worthy, O Lord, no, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. I worship you as my creator, and I praise you for all that you have created. God gave me his word. Christ himself is the creator who made everything in heaven and earth, the things we see and the things we can't, the spirit with the word with its kings and kingdoms, its rulers and authorities. All were made by Christ for his own use and glory. By you I have been upheld from birth. You are he who took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall be continually of you. I have become as a wander to many. But you are my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. Therefore let those who suffer according to the will of God submit their souls to him in doing good as to a faithful creator. Woe to the man who fights with his creator. Does the pot argue with its maker? Does the day dispute with him who forms it, saying, Stop, you're doing it wrong? Or the pot exclaim, How clumsy can you be? since they show no regard for the works of the Lord and what his hands have done. He will rear them down and never build them up again. And I thank you, Lord, in your Son's precious and holy name, Jesus, Yahashua HaMashiach. Amen.